the Orange Bowl in Miami. To honor America, we proudly present our national anthem as sung by Mr. Tom Sullivan and the cast of Up With People. So proudly we hail. It was the 1976 Super Bowl when most Americans became aware of Tom Sullivan. His patriotic and inspirational rendition of our national anthem set a perfect tone for the celebration of America's bicentennial anniversary. Tom Sullivan's just telling me that uh, Ed McMahon was your choice to play your dad now, in the movie. Only, only you would pronounce Ed's name absolutely correctly. It is not McMahon. 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 I love it. I absolutely love being a Sullivan, being proud of an Irish heritage. I'm At that time, there were more talk shows on television than even now. And boy, could Tom talk to Dinah, Merv, Mike, and most often to Johnny Carson. There was a common thread in what Tom had to say. Early on, my friend believed that humor could be found in disability and that all disadvantages could be turned into advantages. He was always entertaining us, but also he was always breaking barriers. Minnie, what does blind mean? It means that he can't see. Hmm. Acting was the next challenge Tom faced. Mork and Mindy, designing women, Touched by an Angel. Tom wrote the script for the first of his episodes on fame. He lied and said he could dance. Thank God Debbie Allen saved him. Tom has often told me his life was changed when he had the chance to work with Michael Landon on Highway to Heaven. Michael allowed Tom not only to act, but write scripts and music. By now, Tom was not only producing records, but more importantly, he and his wife of 35 years, Patty, were producing a family, Blythe and Tom Jr. Tom went to work for Good Morning America, and the nation got to know him once a week for five years. What brought you back to acting? I guess a number of things. I guess I, I missed it more than I thought I would. One very special experience with his son, Tom, touched all of us who saw it. I wanted to share this adventure with a seven-year-old little boy who learned to ski the same day I did. Tommy, what do you think it means when people say that your daddy's handicapped? It doesn't mean... I don't think it means anything. <laughs> you don't... No. You don't have to... No. Why not? Because handicapped people are, are just the same as other people. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, you want to go skiing then? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Dad, you're about to cry. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You okay? <laughs> go ahead, cry a little bit. His autobiography, if you could see what I hear, was made into a highly successful 1983 movie. Now his new book is climbing the bestseller list. It's called Seeing Lessons, where Tom gives his special insight into things we might never have considered. What also has my friend excited these days is his series on ESPN called Superior Beings. He profiles athletes with disability who use sports as the vehicle to express their uniqueness as superior beings. It is in his service to others that my friend finds his greatest personal satisfaction. On that Super Bowl afternoon, Tom's notes of hope lifted the spirit of a nation. His life inspires all of us to reach higher than we ever thought possible and never give up on our hopes and dreams. If extraordinary people can do impossible things, isn't it reasonable to assume that ordinary people can do extraordinary things? Thanks for watching.